Welcome again to TLE Exploratory 7 and 8 and today we will continue our lessons in agriculture and crop production. For lesson 1.2, conduct pre-operation checkoff in line with the manufacturer's manual. Pre-operative checkoff of farm tools, implements, and equipment. Farm tools and equipment helps to make farm work easier and effective. They are designed to perform a specific function. To care of garden tools and equipment, first, you should sharpen tools before and after use. When you sharpen tools, it reduces the amount of force you need to apply to accomplish the task. Oil or grease metal parts This will prevent rust of metal parts of tools and equipment. Third, wooden handles should be strong. Sure, tools with wooden handles are strong and durable. Hang your garden tools. Keep your tools hung, leaving them on the floor can cause rust as they may in contact. Store tools in their original cases. Some tools and equipment come in their special cases to keep them protected for damage. 6. Dry tools after use. After using tools or equipment, make sure they are clean and dried before hanging them to prevent rusting. For farm implements like ordinary plow and wooden harrow should be checked thoroughly before use. First, loosened balls and nuts should be tightened firmly. And this flow and harrow should be lubricated under moving parts like bearings. For farm machinery's preventative maintenance tips, read the owner's manual. Know about your equipment. Juice wear and tear. Lubricating chairs and cables. According to the manufacturer's direction, is another way to extend your equipment's lifespan. Third, pressure wash after use. Mud kicking off on the side of wheel is more than a mess. Order spare parts now. If you know that certain parts will need to be replaced, order those parts now. Having these items on hand when you need them can mean you've cut out the time spent waiting for delivery. For pre-operative checkup for tractors, before starting the tractor, go through the following checklist item. First, fuel level. Make sure you have sufficient fuel in the tank. Second, check your battery. Make sure that the battery terminals are not corroded. Third, check your tire's air pressure and make sure that the nuts are tight. If you notice you have low tire pressure, look for air leakage from around and valve stem. Fourth, loose on defective parts. Take time to really examine the tractor to look for loose or defect SMU emblem. If your SMU emblem is faded or distorted in color or shape, it is time to replace it with a new SMU to increase your visibility to others. Fluid leak. Look for any fluid leaks on the ground beneath the tractor. 7. Operator's platform area. You may spend much of your day on the operator platform, so check the steps to make sure you can get safe on and off tractor. 8. Fire extinguisher. Check your fire extinguisher to make sure it is charged. 9. Lightning flashers. Check headlights and warning lights, flashes to make sure all of the lights are working and replace bulbs if necessary. And then, visibility from operative seat. 
Clean and dirt cab windows to provide the best visibility for you from the operation seat. Top. So that's the end of our lesson for conduct pre-operation checkoff in line with the manufacturer's manual. For more video lessons, don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Thank you for watching!